so hey guys guess what we just i just got, got a new game in from kickstarter planetarium by stephanie vishon or stephane vishon stefan stefan stephanie so, all right so planetarium so what is planetarium, planetarium about planetarium you have to get some money to from a paper route to go get tickets to your field trip, uh, visit your local planetarium. And when you get there, you realize that it's totally bogus. They've only got like four constellations and your mom never got you glasses. So you can't actually see anything anyway, but they do sell little 60 watt black light bulbs. You bring one of those back home. It's pretty sweet. All right, put so it what is the game actually about? So this is a game in which the players are uh, collectively building a solar system. Okay. Um, each player gets one of these nice little planet pads. All right. I don't know that that's the actual name, that's just what I'm calling them because it's a pad with the planets on them. Right. Um, so each pl uh, player gets one of these, and on these nice little planet pads, you collect resources. All right. So, are these the resources? These are the resources. At the beginning of the game, Better they get spread right. out so that each resource, so each they go dot, face down, so you don't know what they are. I believe, I believe it's so. We're gonna make it so. Bag of infinite holding. Except, watch out for the dots that have the letters on them. Because those... Okay, so this is the planet C. Yep, that's the, the planet, planet C. C. And so it's going to go on the board where the letter C is. Exactly. And the planet A goes where the A is. So each of the planets start in different orbits. All right. Are these jujubes? Those are not jujubes. Don't eat them. Don't give them to my daughter. Uh, those are... There's so many pieces. There, there are quite a few pieces. Pass me the bag. All right. That nice felt bag, I believe, is a Kickstarter exclusive. So if you didn't get Planetarium from the Kickstarter, uh, you probably won't see it in the in the box. It does okay. feel good. It yeah, is, it was a pretty it, good bag. It's mm -hmm. a nice bag. So we'll put them face up. Hey, let's go, take a quick go, poll. Go kickstart things. You get good stuff. Let's take a quick poll. Josh, what is your favorite type of planet? My favorite type of planet? I'm going to say gassy giants. Why is that? I cannot say, Christopher. It's just a thing. You just thought it would sound funny? I like Jupiter. Jupiter is my favorite planet. Why? I don't care. Me, I like a good class M planet. What's that? I have no idea. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a life, uh, a planet capable of supporting life. All right. Uh, as put forth by uh, Mr. Gene Roddenberry. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Star Trek. Uh, yes. Yeah. You're, you're right. Okay. You, you, you didn't show any sign of uh, interest. Interest. Because I'm so not. I wanted to further. All right. Let's get the focus back on the game over here. What? Tell us more about what these pieces are. What they do. So, the planet. The planets also come planet with these be. nice little stands. If you don't like your planet laying down where it is. You can stand it up like such. Nice, all right. You also have... Flat planet theory. <laughs> you also have these markers, which you'll see can indicate they can support life. Okay, and or this one right here? that they are in, uh, inhospitable. I see, got so it. So each of the... And they go on the different planets. Yep. Like so. Each of the corner planets. And each of these corners represents the planets that are orbiting this sun right yes. here. Yes. And the thing about this, while each person has a planet that they are cultivating, say Topher might be planet A and I might be D, Yeah. I can still make it so that resources land on planet A. Right. And so but they would go to planet A? They would go onto my section of planet A on the player pad. Okay. On the planet pad. And I can use those resources along with different evolution cards all right to influence that planet's development got it so really it's uh, it uh, again i've not played this yet it looks great and i really want to play it 
I like these. Uh, I like these cards. Yeah, these are fantastic, aren't they? Ice Giant, Molten Inferno, Nutrient nice Rich World. Yeah, Methane Release. There you go, Josh. Oh, yeah, okay. that's your guess, Giant. Uh -huh. A Super Earth. Yep. Twice as good as regular Earth. Uh, no, a mass that has at least 5.5 times that of the Earth. It is tidally locked, so the same face of the planet always faces its parent star. Am I going to learn playing this game? Is that what this is all about? It's like secretly the, trying to teach me? The, the, the developers of the game did want it to have a learning aspect, yes. Okay. All right, that's fine. An educational aspect. And then we've got these cubes here. We've got these big uh, hexagons. What do you know there for you? The, the hexagons uh, are to keep track of score. So uh, one hexagon, if each color gets two different hexagons. Okay. And they'll go in two different spots on the on the tracker. You move up the single digit. When you get to nine, you come back down. You're at ten. Hmm. Then hey. you're at eleven, twelve, twenty-two. Got it. They so, did a thing uh, a la the gold plate on the Voyager as a thank you to the backers. I'll just put that there. Mm -hmm. So 23 days, 126 grand raise. That's pretty cool. Yeah. My they were only asking for yeah. 25,000, I think. Maybe 50,000. Well, people love planets and science. Yeah. It's, it's pretty epic. Um, and the small This was cubes. me last night. I had a large axial wobble. You yeah. had... <laughs> so and these too are many two adult pops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these are. Uh, you're 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 lucky that didn't lead to some asteroid attraction. No, but it did lead to. Where's the methane release? <laughs> <laughs> so. And so, what's the objective of Planetarium? Like, what are you trying to do better than me? You are trying to get the most points for your planet. Okay. Um, beyond that, I really can't say more because having not played it yet, I don't fully. So, what know attracted the case. you to the game that you it dropped the dosh for it, and you're like, I don't even understand it. It looked good. It 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 had a good appeal as far as I I like space. You know me with Zaya and whatnot. Okay. Uh huh. Um, and uh, I wanted a game that uh, I could play with Acadia, my daughter, as she grows up. Okay. And and not just be having fun, but also be learning. Interesting. So, yeah, the cards, let's see some of the cards here. Oh, sure. So, yeah, the cards kind of are very scientific because these are actually things that happen in the solar system. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can have active moons in real space and real time. Um, as opposed to that fake space and fake time. You've got a desolate moon. It looks very <coughs> much like our moon. Oh, low evolution, high evolution, yep. final evolution. Got gas giants there, there, there like are, Jupiter. Is Charizard here? <laughs> no, there, there are different stages that the planets evolve at. Uh huh. Um, and so you play the different cards at different times. Hypers. And then there are several of these final evolution cards. Okay. These are the last cards that are played on any planet. So there's um, the back of it, but then there's the reverse side. And what's the final evolution do? Uh, they just do various different things. Like this one says Planet X, which is sort of a cheeky reference to, uh, you know, Planet X that's in our solar system. You know, it's just out there. And the, fa the flavor text at the bottoms of all these cards is actually very scientific. I mean... Ice Giant. Uh, it says Kepler 42-1b is similar in size to Uranus and orbits past the frost line of its parent star. So yeah, Josh. there's tons of science stuff in here. Josh. Yeah. It's Uranus. It's. No, it's. No. Comment below. <laughs> Spell Uranus phonetically. I, I agree. It's Uranus. Hey, where's 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 Uranus? Because I've got a giant impact. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know how to play the game and I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> well. Where's the Fisher card? So, at some point in the future, we will definitely be putting out a video for this. Uh, it may be sooner, it may be later. It's Pluto. It's an icy dwarf planet. There you go. Education. Did you just call it a planet? Yes, it is a dwarf planet. Pluto, you made the video on why Pluto is Nobody not a planet. Nobody watches those videos. 
I watched them. <laughs> Thank you. Once. <laughs> Go back and check out some of the early days of Fail Road Express. This guy had long hair. I had dreams, too. Now you're just dead inside. Like the desiccated moon! <laughs> desiccated moon. Oh my god. So... Yeah, I have no idea how to play This looks fantastic, though. I'm... It, it, it does look fantastic. I'm really excited to play it. Go out and, and buy it. it. It looks great. It feels great. And I'm sure that it plays great. Yeah, absolutely. This, is, uh, this looks like a fun game. Um, it's got a lot of interesting quality pieces that come with it, and I definitely look forward to us playing this in the future. Why, 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 why couldn't the, uh, the bits that we made be as good as these here? Because we don't have plastic molds. Ah, well, we should probably work on that. Okay, yeah. so not everything in this game is naturally occurring. These, these cards, I guess these were probably uh, uh, stretch goals. You've got... Sea of Dunes. The planet is strayed too close to its parent, dried out, and there's like a, a, a sea leviathan in there. <clears throat> Unobtainium. Oh god, <laughs> Unobtainium, that's great. Terraforming Beam, if you're some sort of alien. Is, is Unobtainium hard to obtain? No, it's pretty easy, actually. Yeah. Uh, they just it's like right, the right near the surface. Uh, anyone here, uh, what, what's that thing called? From the, uh, the, from the, the monolith. Obel the monolith, is that it? The yeah, alien, nice. alien megalith? From uh, yeah. Yeah. the Dead Space? Is that what I'm talking about? The horrible, twisted thing? Anyway, that's in here. You yeah. can Dead Space your game. Well, thanks for checking out this unboxing video of Planetarium. Check out more of our videos on Fellroad Express, and give us a like and subscribe. Thanks.